Hello Mandela class, welcome to your final um, talk for writing lesson for this week. Your learning objective today is can I write a non-chronological report for my invention? So we're going to use our plans today. You've worked really hard on um, applying everything that we've been learning this week into creating a great plan. You've thought about a great design and now we're going to turn that into an actual non-chronological report following the layout of our text map. So if you haven't had a chance to complete your plan, please make sure you do that before the start of this lesson. So pause the video Go back to your plan, make sure you've got everything you need. Um, check your sentence starters, check that you've included descriptive language, relative clauses, subordinate clauses, everything that we've mentioned in the past two videos, you must make sure you include to have a good standard, um, a non-chronological report at a high standard. So these are the things that you should have included on your um, toolkit to write a non-chronological report. Pause the video and have a look, just to remind yourself. Okay, so let's go over these. You need heading and subheadings, an introduction paragraph, paragraphs about different parts of the subject, which we've already done in the past two um, videos, factual language, Remember, it must be written in third person. Technical vocabulary based on your invention. Subordinate and relative clauses to add more information about the subject. We've given you opportunities to do that uh, during the past two lessons where we've planned together. You must make sure that you do include some subordinate clauses or relative clauses. Formal writing. It must be in the past tense as we're pretending that this was an old invention. Pictures of the object. You drew a rough sketch um, in the first planning lesson, but today you're going to take your time and draw a nice um, picture. Okay, I'm going to show you how I use my plan to turn it into a non-chronological report by doing it a paragraph at a time. I will show you exactly how to lay it out. So watch me as I write it out. I'm going to be writing my non-chronological report about the mattress massager, or I called it the massage mattress. Okay, so this was my plan for the beginning part of the non-chronological report. I had my heading and then my two subheadings. I'm going to show you how I do these two paragraphs and then you guys can have a go at doing the rest yourself. You will also have to, if you want to, you can do it one part at a time as I'm doing it. But this is just to give you an idea of how to turn these bullet points into full sentences and into paragraphs. So I'm going to lay it out the way that the non-chronological report is laid out. And then you guys can have a go at writing your whole non-chronological report afterwards. Okay, so my I'm going to go back to my plan, double check my heading, the massage mattress, remembering to make it, um, to write every word with a capital letter and to underline it. So the massage, the massage mattress, which I'm going to underline. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my plan. It's important for you to flick back to your plan or have your plan next to you while you're writing your non-chronological report um, because then there, otherwise there would have been no point us taking that time to plan. You use your plan and turn it into full sentences. So my first paragraph is the introduction paragraph. I'm going to write my subheading now. Okay, introduction. I'm also going to underline. Okay. 
Okay. Then I'm going to go back and look at my bullet points. Okay, so let me go back and look at my bullet points. I've started my sentence with invented by Miss Williams, comma. And then I've written, in fact, electric. So how am I going to put that into a full sentence? I'm going to say, invented by Miss Williams, the mas massage mattress was, in fact, an electric mattress. So I'm going to write that as a sentence. My sentence starter is invented, I've used an ed word to start my sentence, by Miss, I'm remembering my capital letter for Miss, and Williams, why do I need capital letters for Miss and Williams? Invented by Miss Williams, what do I need to remember after my sentence starter? A comma. The massage, and then I'm going to come to the next line because I want to keep this area free from my picture. Invented by Miss Williams, the massage mattress is in fact an electric mattress. Now, do you notice anything? Well, we know what tense we need to use in a non-chronological report, in our non-chronological report. I need to use the past tense. Can you spot what mistake I have made in this sentence? Instead of what I've said, the massage mattress is in fact an electric mattress. What should I have said? I should have said was because we, we need to write in the past tense, so I'm going to change that. So was in fact, and then I can carry on, an electric mattress. Now I think I can add a little bit more detail to this. I can um, mention what it was designed for. So invented by Miss Williams, the massage mattress was in fact an electric mattress designed for maximum comfort. And there I've written my introduction paragraph. So now I can move on to my next paragraph, which is, what does it look like? I'm going to write my subheading. Remember, you're writing paragraphs, so leave a space between each section. I've written my introduction paragraph, I'm going to leave a space, and then start my next paragraph. As you can see here, I've come down one line. I'm going to come down another one to give me more space. What does it look like? Question mark. I can now underline my subheading. Make sure when you're underlining, things in your book, you use a ruler so that it's straight. Okay, now I need to go back and see what information I need to write. So here I've started my sentence with, with um, as mainly made of memory foam, then firm, adjustable and pleasant. So I need to make these two a sentence. As mainly me made of memory foam, the massage mattress was firm, adjustable and pleasant. What do I need to remember to start my sentence with? A capital letter. As mainly made of memory foam, and here I've used a subordinating conjunction. As mainly made of memory foam, comma, the massage, and I'm going to again come down to leave this space for my picture. As mainly made of memory foam, the massage mattress was firm, comma, adjustable and pleasant. Was, because we're writing in the past tense, was firm, comma, 
because I'm listing some adjectives, the power of three. So I need to separate the first two with a comma. As mainly made of memory foam, comma, the massage mattress was firm, adjustable, and pleasant. Full stop. Now I'm writing a paragraph so I can just carry on adding on more sentences. What's my next sentence going to be? It looked like an ordinary mattress. So is there any way that I can incorporate that with it? Because I don't want to mix these two bullet points together because this is meant to be my sentence starter. So that needs to be the beginning of my sentence. So I could actually add this information onto the previous sentence. So as mainly made of memory foam, I can maybe say it looked like an ordinary mattress and was firm, adjustable and pleasant. As mainly made of memory foam, it looked like an ordinary or the massage mattress, sorry. The massage mattress looked, I need to remember to use the past tense, like an ordinary mattress and was firm, adjustable and pleasant. So I've made these three bullet points into one sentence. Then I can use this sentence starter that tells me when or where. This one tells me where. Beneath the first layer, so I can start a new sentence. I don't need to start a new line because this is all one paragraph. Beneath the first layer, comma, there were round plastic rollers and soft vibrating cushions. Beneath the first layer, there were. Why am I not saying there are? Because I'm using the past tense. Beneath the first layer, there were. I need to go back to check what the rest of my sentence was. Round, comma, plastic rollers. Round plastic rollers and oh sorry, I'm going the wrong way. Soft comma vibrating cushions. Soft vibrating cushions. So here I've used lots of descriptive language too. Now I finished describing what it looked like. So I would be ready to move on to my next paragraph, which I planned yesterday. And here's my plan for um, yesterday's lesson for the rest of my non-chronological report. I'm going to start one of the sentences for you, and then you guys can have a go at writing your own non-chronological report. It's very important that you use your plan. You can see me going backwards and forwards between the page that I'm writing on and the, my planning page. So my next paragraph is what does it do? So I need to start a new paragraph. So leave one space and write my subheading. What does it do? Okay. I'm now going to underline my subheading. and go back to my plan to see what my first sentence is going to be. So I've started my next sentence with an ing word, hoping it would soothe aches and pains, comma, starting my sentence with a capital letter, hoping it would soothe aches and pains, now, if you remember the layout of your text map, I will actually show you. Hold on a second. 
So the first two paragraphs, the introduction and what does it look like, they are on the left hand side of your paper so that you've got space for your picture next to it. But the what does it do, you can use your full page to write sentences so you can carry on until the end of the page because you've left that space for your picture. So here I've left this space for my picture. Now I can carry on to the end of the line. So hoping it would soothe aches and pains. It had plastic rollers which moved up and down the mattress. It had plastic rollers which, what have I used here? My relative clause. So hoping it would soothe aches and pains, it had plastic rollers which moved up and down the mattress. Is my sentence finished? Which moved up and down, yes. And I've made, I've added a bit more information so that my sentence sounded complete. So it wouldn't make sense if I just said, hoping it would soothe aches and pains, plastic rollers, which moved up and down. That's not a full sentence. I need to remember that I've written bullet points in my plan. So I need to add some words to make it make sense. Hoping it would soothe aches and pains. It had plastic rollers which moved up and down the mattress. And that's the end of my sentence. What's my next sentence going to start with? Designed with comfort in mind. I've started my sentence with an AD word with comfort in mind, comma. Have I forgotten a piece of punctuation in this paragraph? I've just noticed it. Can you spot where I've missed out a comma? I've missed out a comma after my first sentence starter, hoping it would soothe aches and pains, comma. It had, oh, I've made another mistake. It has, we need to say it had, past tense. It had plastic rollers which moved, again past tense, up and down the mattress. Designed with comfort in mind was the rest of my sentence. It instantly released tension from the back. Okay, so designed with comfort in mind, It instantly released tension from the back. It instantly released from the back. Okay, I'm not going to do the rest because you've seen how I've been turning my bullet points into full sentences. Remember, you can't just copy the bullet point straight onto your sentences because it might not make sense. Throughout me writing the sentences, I keep going back and reading over my work to make sure it makes sense. So, your task is to use your plan, otherwise there is no point us having spent two lessons planning on a chronological report. So use them. The success criteria, which is your toolkit, which I showed you a few slides back, and the way you've seen me model writing out my, my non-chronological report. This should be done independently, so you should not receive any help from your parents at home. This is just to see what you can do. Okay, I look forward to seeing your full non-chronological reports on Tapestry with your best presentation, with your best drawing of your invention, um, you need to just um, apply everything that you have learned into one lesson into your text map today. So good luck, and I look forward to seeing all of your work. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, year three.